Hey everyone, it's Abby, and in today's video, we are going to unbox this huge stationery haul from Stationery Pal. So I'm happy to be partnering with Stationery Pal. If you want to know more and get a 12% discount on your next order, just key in the code ABC on checkout. More links and all the affiliate links will be down below in the description as well as a thorough list of everything that I've gotten. I've also categorized them according to type. So if you're looking for a particular item, I hope it will be easier for you to look for it in the description. I actually got a variety of Japanese vintage themed stationery, mostly under the journaling tools category, I think. So if you're interested to see my haul, make sure to keep watching and let's get to the unboxing. So here is my package and I think Stationery Pal just celebrated their fourth anniversary this April. So go ahead and check out their Instagram for updates and announcements on that. And here is, wow, there's a lot. Here are the things that I got and it looks like I will unbox these first so that it'll be easier for you to check out every item. And I'm going to talk about some of the things that I got, why I got them. And especially for me now, I live in Berlin and there's not much access to Japanese stationery. So this is really a, an easier way to get access to them. And they ship worldwide. So there's a cute bear freebie. But let's go ahead and unbox the rest before I talk to you about each of the products. So here's an overview of my haul. As you can see, I got mostly like earth colored tones, nature inspired stationery. So we're going to be starting with the pens. So a big chunk of what I got are actually pens and I've been meaning to try these pens, especially these two from uni so i have the back page of my diarist journal here and we're going to be testing out these pens first up we have this uni emot everfine pen set i actually have never gotten a set for myself so this is a set of five colors it's water-based ink water resistant no bleed no smearing I remember having like a brown colored one way way back and I've used it for sketching before it's actually pretty lightweight and I really like the sleek design and this doubles like as a stand so that's pretty cool so if you like having that on your desk I think this would make a great accessory now I have not tried any of these colors but they do remind me of Stedler fine liner pens so we're gonna test that out oh it's a really nice mustardy color I was expecting it to be lighter so I actually am pleasantly surprised with how the colors are faring out this is a nice like plum eggplant color so I think this would work really well for journaling for doodling for planning and anything that involves like drawing or sketching or writing these also come in different color ways but I decided to get this like more of I don't know what combinations is like warmish, but I really was eyeing on the mustard yellow and I think this would really work with my current color scheme. This turquoise is a really nice one as well, or teal rather. I used to have a teal face, so I'm slowly trying to get that back. Like before this whole like mustard yellow thing, I was super into teal. So this is a really nice set from Uni Emot. So next up is the Uni Ball 1. This is a set of four colors and it's 0.38 millimeter, which is one of the reasons why I got it because I'm really into like finer tips these days. And I would say this reminds me a lot of Zebra Sarasa Vintage, but in the Uni Ball um, ecosystem. So let's go ahead and open it. I really like the packaging. Obviously went for the vintage colors because these are totally up my alley. So let me just take them out. So they're also looking really nice. So you have a selection of different colors. So there's blue, brown, like a burgundy red, and like a pine green. So we're going to go ahead and test those out. It's 
actually super smooth to write on. I can see this being used regularly for my diarist, journal entry, or Hobonichi weeks. I was expecting this to be more on the red warm side, but it actually is more of this like cooler side, which I'm not mad about, but it's a nice change. Okay, this is obviously my favorite, the green black. So actually these also come in a set of three, I believe, but I really like this four color combination for obvious reasons. I can see it being a uh, regular in my pen lineup. So I'm really looking forward to use this more. Now we are moving to the singles. So this one is a Pentel Energel Klena. I think it's a limited edition body, and it's actually my first time getting a Pentel gel pen. I usually get Pentel Food Detach, which is their brush pen, but I've never tried their gel pens. I've always used a different brand, so I'm really curious to see this. And I like that the body is not so slim, so it has like some weight to it. So if I'm writing daily tasks, this would actually be super handy with me inside my bag. And it's also like a click mechanism, so let's see how this fares out. Okay, I can definitely see this for like long-term writing and note-taking when I have meetings and important work stuff because it's so um, easy, like the ink flows out really well. Next up in the Pentel family, we have the Pentel Touch. Now, I've always had the Pentel Touch in black. However, I don't really buy the other colors and I was like, I wanted to try these out because obviously they'd make great additions for journaling and for headers. So I used to do a lot of lettering back in the day and I got earth tone colors. So we have a brown, a green, and an ochre one. Obviously, I'm always so in awe of the tip of these brush pens. They're just so flexible. The only downside is it's not water resistant. So if that's not really an issue for you, for, not, for me, it's not really a big deal. Then this is totally, totally a great addition to your pen stash. I've always spoken highly of Pentel's Fude Touch brush pens because they're just so convenient and they're also so light. And I like taking around, usually I have like one black, uh, pen with me and it's usually the Pentel Food Touch because I use it a lot to draw and also to letter and it's like a dual purpose pen because of the thick and thin lines that you are able to create with this particular pen. I'm really liking how this ochre is turning out. It's like a really subtle color. can definitely see this being used all the time for headers like this. Next up in the brush pen category, we have this Tombo Fudenosuke brush pen in black. I really like this because if you are looking for permanent or pigment ink, this is your best bet. And it's also similar in terms of tip. But if you are looking for a more permanent alternative, then this is a great addition to your pen stash as well. If you like drawing like me, this is also a great addition because you can really play around with like thick thin lines and also like the curvatures of illustrations and also I can definitely see me using this on my sketchbook more often than expected because it just hits the right spot with the different thin and thick strokes as you can see here. This also has a softer tip this is the hard tip i like using the hard tip for obvious reasons like it really gets this lettering effect going but if you like a soft tip there's also one available for that now this is in the black color there are also other colors but i'm a very basic person i like sticking with what i've been using for a really long time so this one is definitely one of them moving on we are now into the kukuyo family so you've probably seen the one on top if you've watched my previous videos this is the platinum Preppy, which is a collaboration with Kokuyo, and it's called Perpanip, which is a wordplay between paper and pen. So I won't be loading this in, but you do know already what it is. So basically, you can buy platinum ink cartridges or a converter and put this in, and it is a fine tip. I wouldn't say it's extra fine. It says here 03, so it's a fine tip, and it's great for everyday writing. And 
Like the usual Platinum Preppy body, it's also very lightweight. It's just that it is not transparent. So if you like, if you have like this white minimalist aesthetic, this definitely works in your pen case. I can definitely see this like lined up with the Uniball Emot. A Uniball one and Uni Emot and like they would be like instant friends in my pen case. This one is my first time actually owning this. This is a Kukuyo Mark Plus. I've heard really great things about this. Not as if I'm a student, but I do have my own notes with work. And this one is a great addition as like a highlighter as you can see here. It has two tones, but also you can just choose like one side, which is like a brighter yellow or the other side, which is more of like a neutral yellow, depending on your mood. I think this really works well if you're trying to highlight like several paragraphs all at once. So then this is pretty handy. And I like that the body is not so heavy as well. And it has the two shades of yellow already shown there. So you know that this one is obviously a yellow colored highlighter. Last but not the least, keeping it simple with the Pilot Friction Ball Slim 0.38. So if you are always erasing and wanting to reach for your correction tape, then you should get this pen. It's also very slim. So this is the 0.38 Friction. When I used to go to Japanese bookstores, I would always like just know about the regular Fiction, friction, which is like the big, I think those like 0.5 or 0.7, but it's nice that they have this like slim option and this top part, this tip is actually an eraser. So in case you have to erase anything, you can simply do that and you're done. So this is for journaling, for writing, for notes, for meetings. I wouldn't say it's for exams, so don't use this for exams, but for everything else, this is definitely very handy and efficient for your note-taking or writing endeavors. So here are some stickers that I got. Obviously, I stocked up on Suatelier stickers. So Suatelier is a popular Korean brand and I really like the sticker size because it's great for planners and I use most of mine for my Hobonichi weeks. So I got three of them. This one is called Food Drip Number no. 2. As an Asian, I love all these Asian food and it's a good excuse to, for me to have these stickers and use them for food trips when I'm like, or if I cook Asian food, like I can definitely see like Japanese curry, Korean barbecue, is this army stew or something? So I'm really excited to use this. Even they managed to put in the leeks and spring onions. Next one I have is the diet. I'm not on a diet, but I really like this like fitness themed sticker set because it's also clear stickers. It's also so nice to put in my planner. I definitely want to see this like tracking my health and also putting in the fruit log. I don't know if I actually can do sports. I am not a sporty person, but either way, it's really cute. I really love the color scheme, so that's why I got it. Next, in the spirit of spring, we have this Deco Flower Swatele sticker set. It's really a bunch of small elements, and I can definitely see this also for decorating my journals and planners, and I'm so excited to use it. And predominantly, it has yellow, so anything yellow is like a go for me. Next up, from Stationery Pal and Stationholic. I had to get this because it reminded me of some of the brands that I really liked in Japan. So you have Mildliners, Tombow, um, Uniball, the Mount Fuji Eraser, Pilot, and all that jazz. So if you're going to be doing like a stationary haul journal page, I think this was this would be I think this would be a nice addition in terms of stickers for that. So the title is called My Love. It's a My Love sticker sheet. Last one, I had to hone in on my vintage loving self and also this is like a, i think a little tribute to joe of little women as you can see there's little women here so this is from stationholic it's entitled vintage i love all the outfits i recently just watched little women so i really like um the elements there like the books the shoes and all the decor and interiors and architecture of course so i had to get this now after the sticker sheets of course i also got some flakes I am in this whole like spring nature mood, so most of my journal spreads have been into that category. So here are some sticker flakes. 
that are very spring-like, all in shades of yellow. So these are great for covers or also for like layering on journal spreads and they're a lot actually so I might um, set aside some and give them away to Happy Mail for friends because it's just really so versatile and so springy. It's like a nice addition to your journals during the springtime. Now let's move on to more functional stickers. So I got this one. I've really been obsessed with anything dots because they can be like um, mood trackers but they can also be um, just additional decor and this one is an in feel me masking tape in shades of yellow like very warm autumnal shades so you just peel off the dot and you're good to go it's good for decorating and for adding I don't know important dates in your planner this is actually something similar but I would say this one is smaller and I got um, a neutral color palette for this because I wanted something that would be so um, timeless on my planner actually my sister had given me a couple of sheets from hers that I've used for mood tracking so I was inspired to get my own set and use this for the same purpose. So this is basically a peel off kind of situation. So as you can see here, yeah, I peel off basically the whole, I'm gonna use that anyway. You just peel it out like this and then you cut it and then you can um, tape it back so that you can use it for future dots, dotting. Is that even a thing, dotting? So yeah, this one is really also super useful if you want to tape in some photos. I wouldn't say it's like, adhesive it's not so strong but it adds a nice touch and we always like adding those like little additional things right so this is one of those and it really is a great purpose for that lastly i went into this like purple route and got i actually have a lot of grid washi tapes so i got a set of this like purpley grid a roll rather of purpley grid washi tape this is super useful for notes for ideas and plans i don't know but i've been in this like purplish gray mood lately i've been enjoying that color of an ink as well that i've been using for my planner so hopefully this will introduce me to this whole like cool color family situation so yeah these are some of the stickers that i got Next, I got myself a selection of stamps and paper. I actually really liked this Mew stamp. I love Mew because Mew, M-U, they have like transfer stickers and I didn't know they have stamps. So I got two sets. The first one is one with a whale. It's very like galaxy themed and it's really so calming. And then the second one, obviously I'm still in the spring bubble. So I got these dandelion ones. I can definitely see them as like really nice add-ons to my journal spreads. So clear stamps, obviously you need a clear block and ink to test that out. So this is um, these are small usually the clear stamps are like four by six but these are really great if you're like traveling if you're on the go journaling at a cafe then it's great to bring these around next for paper I got two so obviously I went for the vintage route I've been missing all these like vintagey papers that would be like great borders and these are actually so nice because they're already pre-cut for you and pre-printed. I don't have a printer at the moment. So if you're looking for a variety of that, it's really um, a great buy. So this one, the one that I got is a cottage garden. And I actually like that you have these little sheets and you can actually tear them like this. And you have ephemera and you can paste them on the borders of your journals. Obviously, I'm going to use these now. And I really like the variety of these. So it's really great. Also, the size is not so bad. So if you have like pockets in your journals or traveler's notebooks, you can just easily fit some inside. So don't have to bring the entire pack. Same goes with this one. Now, actually, I already have a vintage set like this. Let me just... This is the one that I have, but this one is vintage appliances. So you have like coffee grinder, clock, 
um, yeah, all these like vintage elements and I really liked obviously this one. It's like fountain pen themed writing themed, but I got one that is nature themed. Can you imagine like having this in like a shelf? That'd be so nice, like little books. But anyway, the one that I got is more of herbs, plants, nature, and I think they'd be really great additions in, in addition to the vintage one that I have. So this one could be like for Sakura season. And it's nice that there is like a white paper background component and there's also vintage like craft paper. So depending on your vibe or your theme, you can get either of these and you can use them for whichever journal pages you have, like craft paper, white paper, or cream paper, or whatever floats your boat. Last but not the least, I also got myself one of these stamps. I remember having this way, way early when I used to not know what journaling was about or like what stationery was about. I just had like a limited set of materials back then, but I decided to get this also partly because I really like the idea of stamping letters and labeling them in a uniform way. So I got the alphabet uppercase stamp here. It comes in this nice wooden box, which is always a plus for me. So you have it here when you open it. Let me just tilt it over. So you have everything in uppercase, so that's all 26 letters of the alphabet. Quite dark actually, but if you see it in person, you can definitely see the letters. Last but not least, we have some accessories. And I made sure to get ones that I will really be using. First off, we have this Milan oval eraser. I remember getting my first Milan eraser at a random bookstore in New York and I realized how great it was erasing and it's hard to find a really good eraser so I really told myself like okay I'm gonna get one and it's really so versatile and super soft so if you're looking for a good eraser this is a really great brand. Next one, of course I had to get myself this one because I did not know that they had an autumn edition. So this is the Plus Air in Mount Fuji eraser in autumn. As you can see, the top of it is actually a snowy Mount Fuji, which means that as you keep erasing the sides, you will have like a little Mount Fuji with you. And I think my target is to have that by autumn because this is an autumn season eraser. But yeah, it's my first time owning this. I'm so excited to use it also for sketching. I think this would be great to take along with me while I am drawing on the go. Fits my pen case really well. So really looking forward to that. Next one is, of course, speaking of on the go things, we love a portable pair of scissors. And this is something that I've been lacking because the one that I use is really great. This is a Kokuyo. Um, Saksa pair, but I don't see myself bringing this around in cafes. It's just too big So if I need to travel and I need to journal on the go This one that I got is called Stickile. I obviously got um, A neutral colored one to match all of the things that I have So the brand is called Sunstar and you just pull it out like so and you have a pair of portable scissors. Now, I wouldn't say this is like super, super sharp, but it gets the job done and you're fine. You know, if you wanna cut like washi tapes, if you need to cut stickers, you need to cut like tickets or whatnot, then this is a really great addition to your pen case. Speaking of, maybe I should do a what's in my pen case soon. So let me know if that's something you want to see in my next video. Next, I'm very excited about this. This is a stackable washi tape dispenser because I have a lot of washies lying around and I think it's time to give them a proper home. And you can actually take this out and put in the tapes there. That is looking so great. So I just have to pull out my tape. 
and it cuts instantly and now I'm ready to pack this one is Norino plus Norino this is actually glue tape and this is great for taping stuff so I just have to push this arrow it says open here so I'll just push that in and now you have this one so what how this works is you just glue in and then you will see that there are some dots I don't know if you can see it on camera but that is the glue mechanism and so you can paste things and I really like this function where you can close it like that so it doesn't get unnecessarily um, sticking when you're putting it in your pen case last but not the least not a very interesting item but I've always found binder clips so fascinating because I use them for a lot of reasons primarily when it comes to like my Hobonichi I have to clip on a specific week I can just you know put that in or if I'm working on a journal spread and it seems to be a bit stubborn I can just clip this or if I have like notes that I need to seal shut for a certain reason. I actually have a lot of different clips as well. We have Penko and this really nice hand clip but this one will be a new addition to the family and I cannot wait to welcome this clip to the stationary family. Thank you once again to Stationary Pal for sponsoring this video. I also have an affiliate link so all the links in the description I earn a small percentage from that, so thank you in advance for your support. If you'd like to get 12% off, here is a discount code that you can use. It's ABC when you shop at Stationery Pal. If you're looking for a variety of Japanese stationery, pens, and also a lot of different items for your journaling needs, I definitely recommend Stationery Pal. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to check the description for more information. I will see you on the next one. Always be creating. Bye!